The Houston Texans head northeast to Baltimore for week one. The Ravens set to unveil their new look offense, in theory at least. That was really smart. Great job. Great job, O-line. Great job, Lamar. Great job, JK. The buzz in Baltimore all offseason. New offensive coordinator, new approach, more Lamar passes, fewer Lamar runs. Fires across the middle. Andrews has it at the five. Turns and he's in for a touchdown. I was too wide open. I ain't had to shoot and run and do right now. But what if the defense in front of you is built to stop the pass while having a propensity to treat ball carriers like Drake at the local nightclub? 15, outside to the 10, puts a move on to the 5, stiff arm, dives over the pylon. Touchdown, Titans! I mean, just go on through, right? This is what Baltimore's offense must contend with in week one. Houston's defense gave up 5.1 a carry in 2022. The old Ravens would have had a field day with that, especially being the secondary Lamar faces this week. Pretty much the same cast that held QBs to the fifth lowest rating in 2022. Back, looking right, slant, too high, tipped and intercepted at the 45. Pulled down by Traymon Smith, left sideline. Baltimore's passing attack is an unknown in a lot of ways. Jackson to Mark Andrews should still be a common sight. Andrews is a top three tight end in most books. He's been Lamar's go-to for years running. Give me some. Andrews should expect to see plenty of safety Jalen Petrie then. Five INTs in his rookie year, sub-90 rating allowed. Fields fires over the middle, and it's intercepted! Picked off by Jalen Petrie. Of course, this week marks the regular season debut of OBJ in purple. Lost one for Odell Beckham Jr. Got it down! Touchdown! Beckham, the guy expected to make their new approach work both this year and this week versus the Texans. Stafford wants to throw for it, and it is caught. Touchdown, Odell Beckham Jr. He, too, will also be taking on a second-year guy who had a good year one. Cornerback Derek Stingley's year got cut short, but he shined when he was healthy, low 70s rating allowed. Bootleg, Lawrence throwing end zone. It's intercepted. Picked off by Stingley. The Texans will contend with the likes of Devin Duvernay, Demarcus Robinson, likely tight end Isaiah Likely, and first-year wide receiver Zay Flowers, the other big new addition to their passing attack. Zay Flowers caught and in for the touchdown, no flags. If Jackson is throwing more, it allows us to see what one of Houston's first-rounders can do. Defensive end Will Anderson, let's see what you got. At the number three overall pick, Will Anderson with the pressure, the sack. Jackson also has to try and elude defensive end Jerry Hughes. Q principal Rooney, he got home nine times. Fields in trouble, and down he goes! Texans pass rush won't have it easy though. Baltimore's O-line was fifth best in 2022 according to PFF. Four of the five dudes responsible will be out there this week. He's got a man open. There's Oliver, he's to the one, in, touchdown Ravens! The Ravens aren't abandoning their rush game by any means, so Texans defenders will still have to spy Jackson. Jackson will keep it, he's got room. He's at the 30, it's a leg race, 40. Lamar Jackson midfield and going 40. One man to beat 30, he's to the 20. Plus, Baltimore will hit them with their two-headed running back monster, J.K. Dobbins, 5.7 a carry last year. Dobbins open field, stretching to the goal line. Room, a touchdown! Gus Edwards, five a run. Neither guy played 10 games, though. Touchdown, Ravens! The bus is back, baby! Back. Texans rush defense is relying on some new faces, a new defensive tackle, new safety, a couple new linebackers, and a new head coach whose touch is expected to fix some things. Henry is stuffed by Grenard. What a play by Jonathan Grenard. The Texans defense does have the ability to keep things close, but can their offense do enough against Baltimore's defense to get a win? Now Stroud. Hanging in, throws it to the near side, picked there up. Go. The question to that answer, C.J. Stroud, Houston's other numero uno pick in the draft. The Texans rookie signal caller takes his first real NFL snaps. Lofting end zone caught, touchdown, Nico Collins. His pass catchers, a collection of vets, Robert Woods will play his first game as a Texan, as will tight end Dalton Schultz. Oh, good catch there is made for a first down. It's Dalton Schultz. Wide receiver John Mechie will also make his regular season debut after having to beat leukemia his rookie year, so he's already in the win column. Unable to turn inside despite the stumble, Mechie. 
The Ravens secondary they face equipped with two top tier cats. Schultz will get hounded a lot by safety Marcus Williams, four INTs in just 10 games last year. Going deep and intercepted, picked off Marcus Williams. Stroud won't be facing Marlon Humphrey though, he's out hurt. Baltimore's top cornerback in this game then, newcomer Rocky Asin, who played the pass well for Las Vegas. Covered closely by Rocky Asin. The pass rush situation on this side, Texans O-line was ranked dead last in 2022 by PFF, but they do have an elite left tackle, a new center, a new guard. They needed to make some changes in order to improve things for Stroud's sake. Kenyon Green is just going to get beat, and he just gets too far forward. Baltimore had the fifth most sacks in the NFL, but many of those bags walked out the door in the offseason, so this is the first time we see who might emerge as their big QB hunting threat. Brought down by Owe. The final big piece of this game, the Texans' run game, which will be in the hands of Damian Pierce. He starts his second year with a great rookie year under his belt. He's probably still their top offensive weapon for now. Over the middle, 20, breaks a tackle, 15, 10. Gang tackled inside the five. Does he stay on his feet? He does down to the two-yard line. What a run by Damian Pierce. Problem he'll have in this game, he'll have two elite linebackers staring him down. Patrick Queen, over 110 tackles in 2022, added five sacks. Pressure coming on third down and getting there. Patrick Queen sacks Jones. And there's Roquan Smith. He was a first-teamer. Enough set. Third down and one for the Bronco. It was the Latavius Murray who is hit and stopped. Shot. The Go! Football is back. It just feels right. I'm back too, and this bag still feels right. I say enough talking heads with their hot takes. I'll leave those to you, the fans. You can put them in the comment section with your predictions. NFL, LGF, kick it off already. The panel, by the way, NFL Network folk, Colleen Wolf, Daniel Jeremiah, MJD, Adam Rank, Marcus Grant, NFL.com writers Kevin Patra, Grant Gordon, Eric Edelm, Nick Shook. Eventually those little dashes will show who's doing best.